Hello students. Let's continue our journey through understanding quadrilaterals. In the last session, we studied about the sum of exterior angles of a polygon. Today, we will be dealing with different types of quadrilaterals like trapezium and kite. Can you identify any quadrilateral in this figure? Yes, we can, but there's something special about it. A pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now, let's look at another example. We can find a similar quadrilateral from the figure. In this figure also, a pair of opposite sides are parallel. Let's see this house. Do you think its roof looks familiar? Yes, even this roof has a pair of opposite sides parallel. So what do we understand after going through these figures? Is there anything in common? There is a pair of opposite sides parallel. Such a quadrilateral with a pair of opposite sides parallel is called a trapezium. Here some shapes are given. Let's classify them as trapezium and non-trapezium. You have a pair of parallel sides, so you are a trapezium. Sorry, you do not have any parallel sides. You are not a trapezium. You are a trapezium. You can also join trapezium. You have parallel sides, but you are not a quadrilateral. So you need to go to non-trapezium. You are not a trapezium. From this classification, we can make out that a trapezium is a quadrilateral with a pair of opposite sides parallel. Now, let's see our special type of trapezium. Here, you can see the trapezium, A, B, C, D. Check the length of sides A, D, and B, C. What can you find? We found that the sides are the same. So we call it an isosceles trapezium. That is, if the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are of equal length, then it is an isosceles trapezium. Now let's learn another kind of quadrilateral, that is kite. Don't you think that the shape of a toy kite reminds us of a quadrilateral? So mathematically, a kite is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Here A, B, C, D is a kite with AB equal to BC and AD equal to DC. Can you find any other examples? What do you think of a trowel? Or what also a sphere? Don't they look similar to a kite? Now, let's see some peculiarities of a kite. In kite A, B, C, D, A, C and B, D are diagonal, and they meet at M. Now let's check how they cut each other. Check the length of each segment. We can see that the length of AM is equal to the length of MC and the length of BM is not equal to the length of MD. That is, in a kite, longer diagonal bisects the shorter diagonal. Now let's check the angle of intersection. What can you understand from this? The angles of intersection are 90 degree. That is, in a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular. In kite ABCD, AC is the longest diagonal, also called main diagonal. It divides the kite ABCD into two triangles, 
triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Is there any peculiarity for these two triangles? Let's check. Since ABCD is a kite, the sides AB equals AD and BC equals DC. And AC is the common side for these two triangles. Therefore, by SSS congruence rule, triangle ABC congruent to triangle ADC. That is the main diagonal divides the kite into two congruent triangles. Angle B and angle D are the corresponding angles of these two congruent triangles. That is angles opposite to the main diagonal are equal. Also note that angle BAC and angle DAC is a pair of corresponding angles. So they are equal. And angle BCA and angle DCA are another pair of corresponding angles. They are also equal. That is the main diagonal bisects the angles at its both ends. So let's have a quick revision. Today, we learned about two types of quadrilaterals, that is, trapezium and kite. So, that's it, and before winding up, I will give you a simple activity. Check if a square is a trapezium or kite or neither. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.